everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to roast Napa Jack's sweet and spicy honey mustard turkey wings. Now I picked up some gorgeous turkey wings at my grocer and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. This is about one and a quarter kilograms of turkey wings. Now these are the split turkey wings. There are the flats and the drummies, but see the drummies? They're like as bigger than a, um, a chicken drummy, much bigger. And this is just the wing. So these are gonna have to go for at least an hour in the oven. If you don't have time like that, don't start these guys, okay? Has to cook all the way through to the bone. Uh, all right, so this is how we're gonna get started. I have a bowl and I'm just gonna toss these guys with some seasonings before I put it in the oven. So I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees and I've got a baking sheet prepared with a silicone mat. So let's toss them with some delicious spices. I'm going to use some pepper here, some freshly ground pepper, at least a teaspoon. I'm gonna use a little bit of cayenne pepper. This is a nice heat without adding too much flavor. Just spicy. Now I'm gonna use some Napa Jack's uh, chicken and fish rub. Uh, it's great for any kind of poultry, and great for turkey, right? So let's get some of that on there. It has some mm, most beautiful spices. I'm gonna read to you what's in here just so that you have an idea of a base of what we're using. There's garlic, salt, onion, orange peel, spices, um, sugar, parsley, green bell peppers, paprika, cilantro, okay? So some nice base of flavor. I don't wanna to add too much because some of these herbs could tend to burn and I don't want them to be too much on there. If there's a little bit of char, that's just fine with me. I like that, that's no problem. Just to get a little bit extra flavor here and a tiny bit extra salt. So let's just move these guys around and get those spices nice and coated on the outside. Gorgeous. Now, the sweet and spicy honey mustard is gonna go on near the very end of roasting. That way it won't burn in the oven. That's not what we want. We want a beautiful kind of a glaze or even maybe just a little bit of a char from it. But if you put honey on it now, it is sure to burn. All right, so let's organize these on our baking sheet. You just don't want them touching. You need to have some space. When I'm baking or roasting poultry, I like to have the skin side up so that, that um, the skin renders the fat and it keeps the meat nice and moist and protected from being burned or getting too dry. Okay. So here we go, they're nice and seasoned and my oven is preheated to 350 degrees. These guys are going in, I'm gonna check on them in about 30 minutes, okay? Just to make sure everything's okay. Now I'm using another awesome Napa Jacks uh, product tonight. This is their Napa Jacks Sweet and Spicy Mustard. I'll grab a spoon and show you. This is a beautiful a kind of a grainy mustard. It has a beautiful sweetness. It is nice and spicy. Can you see that? Make sure you check out my review on it. It is really delicious. It works well on chicken, on any kind of poultry. It works well on pork. It works beautifully on uh, fish. And we're gonna combine that with some honey. Uh, right near the end of roasting. Now this is such a beautiful smell. You can tell it's a beautiful um, Dijon style mustard. There is a country Dijon mustard in it, vinegar, mustard seeds, salt, white wine, uh, spices, sugar, and dried chili. So it's nice and spicy, it has that hint of sweetness. Both of the Napa Jacks products in their whole entire line, so you can find them online at winecountrykitchens.com. They are amazing, amazing products in every line I've tried from uh, Napa Jacks. Really, really awesome stuff. All right, so we'll check on these guys in about 30 minutes just to look at them, make sure that everything's okay, and uh, it'll take probably at least an hour, okay? So we'll see you in a little while. All right, these have been going for about 30 minutes. If you see that your turkey is starting to brown too much, you can cover it up with a loose um, tent of aluminum foil. Mine aren't, mine are gonna keep going because I like them nice and brown and these guys are still working on it. So if you want, you could always baste these with a little bit of melted butter, which um, I might just do here. Now what you can do at this point is if you have any drippings that have come off, which I do in fact, um, I'm going to baste these guys with that so that we can kind of glisten them up and help them brown just a little bit. Okay, let's do that. Smells delicious. It almost smells like Thanksgiving in here. Okay. Back into the oven, I would say another 30 minutes, okay? And we will start making that honey mustard sauce shortly before that. 
it smells amazing in here. And we're about 10 minutes out from these turkey wings being nearly done. So we're going to make our beautiful sweet and spicy honey mustard glaze that we're gonna put on this. So here we go. All right, let's get going. I'm going to use probably two heaping teaspoons of my mustard. And we're gonna do a taste test so we can balance everything out. So these are just some basic eyeballing um, amounts. I'm gonna use probably a tablespoon, maybe two of honey. That should cover eight of my wings easily. And I might even wanna do a second coat. So I wanna make sure I have a little bit extra. Also the turkey wings are completely cooked at that point when I am gonna put this on. So you won't have to worry about any kind of contamination. You could use this as the, the dip for the, um, for when you're serving the wings. You could dip that in there and use that up too. I'm using a beautiful wildflower honey tonight. It has a really nice flavor profile. That's a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. A nice pinch is worth. And we're going to mix this up. Stir it up, stir it up. If you wanted to add a little hot sauce to this, go ahead and do that. That would be nice and make it even a little bit more spicy. Or you could even add a dollop or a drop or two of uh, some beautiful barbecue sauce that you like. Uh, Napa Jacks also has a gorgeous barbecue sauce line. Oh, and check out my reviews on them because they are so delicious. I use them for so many different things. They're so awesome. All right, let's do a taste test quickly. Oh, perfect amounts. Mm, I love the honey flavor, the little extra sweetness, but the spice of that mustard really, really, really shines through. Oh, it's got a nice kick. What a delicious, delicious glaze. I guess you could also call this a sauce. It would be a great little dipping sauce for any kind of tasty tidbit. Honey and sweet, spicy mustard, yum. And that little bit extra uh, freshly ground pepper has a nice uh, texture to it because I like to just barely crack it. I like nice chunks of it in there. It gives just a little bit more excitement to things. It's beautiful. It's everything you want a sauce to be. A little bit sweet, a little bit spicy, a little bit sticky. Nice. Mm, that is so delicious. Mm. Let's glaze up our turkey wings. Now that we've made such a delicious sauce, we're ready to glaze these turkey wings. Ooh wee, beautiful. Look at how browned and gorgeous they are. And I'm pretty darn sure that these guys are done. Let me just take a peek here. See what I think? The skin is nice and crispy. Gorgeous. Oh, smells so amazing. Now let's get this on here. This is gonna right. be great. I'm gonna let this stuff um, caramelize on the outside of these turkey wings for at least 10 minutes in the oven. But I wanna keep my eye really closely uh, watching these guys, making sure that they're not burning or going too far because there's quite a lot of, of sweet honey in here and that will have a tendency to burn relatively quickly. Oh, these are gorgeous. And the glaze, it just grabs that skin and holds right on there. Man, that looks good. They're just glistening. And I'm gonna even have enough to maybe even do another um, round of basting here. We'll see what they look like in, in about 10 minutes. Oh, I wish you could smell it. I'll at least show them to you. They look wonderful. They're gonna be a lot more substantial than just eating chicken wings. Look at them. Oh, they're so glorious. All right, into the oven they're gonna go. 10 minutes. Ooh wee, these, oh, they are just perfect looking, my goodness. But I'm gonna give them one more little thing. We just use the rest of this up and we're gonna put it back into the oven for maybe another five minutes. What gorgeous skin, oh, oh, goodness. You can see the spices that are going on there. It's all shiny and beautiful. Yeah. Now again, you could always mix up some extra sauce for dipping as well. Beautiful, man, look at that. And back into the oven for maybe another five minutes. Ooh wee. These look amazing. I just can't even tell ya. Look at those. Ah, oh, speaks for themselves. They are golden brown and sticky and amazing. Woo. So let's serve these guys up. Oh, they are gorgeous. Look at these. Ugh. 
unbelievable. It smells so good in here. I'm just gonna kind of try and make things pretty. Why not? Awesome. What a gorgeous plate of wings to bring to the table. What amazing man food this would be for tailgating, for Father's Day, even great for New Year's Eve. Nice. All right, let me try one of these. Flats are my favorite, so I'm gonna grab a flat. Oh, the skin is crispy, crunchy. Can you hear that? Listen. Mmm. Oh, it's like candy. Are you kidding me? They're perfectly done. Mmm, look at that. These guys are monsters. They're so perfectly done. The meat inside is still nice and moist and tender, but the skin is crispy on the outside. Amazing. Mmm. 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 Beautiful. Mmm. Now these would be wonderful as an appetizer and equally as fantastic for a Friday or Saturday night sitting at home watching movies. You're gonna love, love, love Napa Jack's products. They are so good. You can do so many tasty things in your kitchen and maybe just spark a little bit of something interesting into your repertoire, right? So that's how you do it. That's how you roast up Napa Jack's sweet and spicy honey mustard turkey wings. Oh. They're fantastic. So make sure you check out winecountrykitchens.com for these Napa Jacks products and their whole line of products. This is the sweet and spicy mustard and this is their chicken and fish uh, rub. Great for poultry, okay? You're gonna love all their stuff, all the Napa Jacks things, the mustards, the spices, the sauces. Oh, they're amazing. And that's just as easy to make, roasting up some beautiful Napa Jack sweet and spicy honey mustard turkey wings. You're gonna love them. You're probably only gonna need two because they're so big. I hope you try out this recipe. I think the kids are gonna like it. The adults are gonna like it. It's a, it's a winner. Okay. And that's it. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly, youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. You can find my channel on Roku Cooking with Kimberly, and I'm also syndicated on Apple TV. Come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, alright? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.